Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And I'm going to show you today how to take a clothespin and turn it into an airplane with a complete moving propeller. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. For this project, you will need three three-inch tongue depressors, paint or uniposca pens, a coffee stir stick, scissors, small wooden spool or buttons and pony beads, push pin, a ball ended pin, small bead, and a glue gun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint all my wooden pieces. And I'm gonna be using my Uniposca pens just cause they're so easy to manage and maintain. And I'm gonna just cover them with a nice thin layer of paint. So I'm going to do that for all of my different various pieces. The next thing we're going to do is cut our little propeller. And I want the propeller to be about, about an inch and a half, two inches. So I'm just going to use my thumb here as a guide and I'm just going to cut up and around to round it off. Like that. And then I'm going to be using my push pin here and find about where the center is. You could use a ruler here if you wanted. And I'm just going to put this, I can use my spool. Just find the center and put a little hole right through the middle. Like that. And then I can put my pin through the hole that I just made. And that'll make my propeller spin. So this can move up to the end and then I'm gonna put a bead on the back side, and that's so that it won't hit the clothes pin and it will still spin. So I'm just gonna do that like that. Very simple like that. So I'm gonna open up my painted clothes pin. I'm just gonna put some glue here and here with my hot glue gun. So I'm just going to open this up, slide it in between so that the ball hits right in the middle there of that clothespin. And see, now that nice, turns nice and easily. So now we're going to add the wings. And I'm just going to add those right over top here. So I'll put a little bit of glue on either side here. And I do want to make sure that I leave enough. So see where that little pin goes? I'm kind of splitting my wing between the two of those pins there, between that pin there. Make sure that's centered. And I'm going to flip it over. Do it on the other side. And line those up so that they line up with each other. And then I'm just going to place my wheels right in the front of those. Now, if you do not have a spool, you could always use buttons or little pony beads, and I'll show you what those look like in just a second. So that sits nicely, and now I'm just going to make the tail. Now, some people like the tail to be you know, one of those kind of tails. That's fine if you wanted to do that, and you could use these little guys instead, but I love having the tail stick up. So what I'm going to do is just going to cut this about an inch, inch and a half from the top with my scissors and then put a little line of glue right here. And stand this up so that it makes its little airplane tail. And then you can see that spins and the tail is up. Now, if you wanted to, too, you could add like a little uh, front window if you wanted to. I just want to show you real close up. This is using buttons and using popsicle sticks because you might not be able to find these. And this is using little pony beads. So see, if you don't have all of these little supplies, get creative because I'm sure you can find something in your craft box that will fill the need. And there you have it, 
your very own biplane. And remember, if you can't find these pieces, you can always use buttons for the wheels and you can use regular popsicle sticks or paper. For more great ideas, check us out, sophie-world.com. Mm -hmm.